So when we add CaSO4 plus H2O, that's calcium sulfate plus water, we'd like to write an equation here to reflect what happens. So calcium sulfate, you put it in water, the first thing that happens that's interesting is we have this anhydrous, just CaSO4. When you put water with this, it actually becomes a hydrate. So we have the calcium sulfate hemihydrate right here, and then we have a picture of it here. So it will actually bond to some of the water molecules. But after that, what happens? What if you have this, say, hemihydrate here, you put it in water, what's going to happen? This is an ionic compound. We have a metal and some nonmetals, which are often soluble in water. So let's see what might happen. Calcium has a 2 plus charge. It's in group 2 on the periodic table. The sulfate, polyatomic ion, and the sulfate's a 2 minus. So that makes a neutral molecule. And it's a solid. So we have solid anhydrous calcium sulfate, and we add it to liquid water. We might expect that it'll break up. It'll split into or dissociate into its ions. So you'd have Ca2 plus plus the sulfate ion. And since they're dissolved in water, we could write a little Aq after them which means aqueous or dissolved in water. And then we wouldn't need to write water again on this side. So this might happen when we put the calcium sulfate in water. It would grab a few water molecules around it, and then it would dissolve into its ions. But we need to check a solubility table to see if this actually happens. So here's our solubility table, and the positive ions are down here. So we're going down and we find here's the calcium. And then we have the sulfate, which is across the top. These are the negative ions, the anions, way over here. So we'll go down and across. And we have this SS here, and that means it's slightly soluble. Since it's slightly soluble, some of this, just a little bit of this, will actually dissolve, split apart into its ions, the calcium ion and the sulfate ion. But a lot of it won't dissolve. Much of it will remain as a solid, and that'll probably just sink to the bottom of the container, the beaker of the test tube, and just be wet calcium sulfate. So to recap, if you have anhydrous calcium sulfate, you put it in water, it will bond with some water molecules to form a hydrate, but then some of it, because it's slightly soluble, some of it will dissolve or dissociate and break apart and do its ions. This is Dr. B with calcium sulfate plus water. Thanks for watching.